It's like I've been living here my whole life. I went to school here. about this stuff you no know, but I, I don't know I think like a week ago my mom she told me that here in Florida the officers you know like the chief uh, from like counties like little counties right so supposedly 17 counties in Florida they all got approved you know to they stop you for anything and you're, you know, illegal, like, they can no call immigration on you. And that's sad. I can't even talk, I'm so sorry, guys, I'm sorry, but that's why I don't want to talk about this, because it's emotion. Reading about it, because I wanted to know, like, more about this, because I was like, no, like, it happened. Especially if you've been here your whole life. Stuff like this happening, you're like, why? You know, Mexicans, no, not all of them are good. I understand that. That's why, you know, they're trying to do that. But some of us, you know, we just want to work. They just want to work so they can, you know, have a better life. But by doing this, I mean, how are they going to go to work? How are they going to drive to go to work? How are they going to go buy food? If now, like, police is going to stop you just because you look Mexican. So, me, personally, like I said, I understand how they feel because I feel the same. I was born in Mexico. I came to the United States when I was seven months. Seven months, like, you still don't even, you don't even know nothing. You're a baby, seven months? It's not like I lived there, you know? It's not like I lived in Mexico. I know everything over there. I don't know nothing over there. That's why it scares me whenever they want to do this stuff because I'm like, what am I going to do over there? I don't know anybody. I have my family over there, but it's not the same. It's like I've been living here my whole life. I went to school here. I started walking here. I started talking here. It's like, it's like basically I was born here because that's whenever, you know, I started everything. You know, like a child's brain develops when they start. You know, when they start hitting one year old, two, and that's when everything. That's what I didn't understand. When I was in first grade, second grade, I was like, I never, I never was like, oh, I'm different. I thought it was the same as everybody here. I started understanding stuff. When I was like around, I say like fourth or fifth, you know, one day I asked my mom, I was like, Mom, um, because my sister was born here and she had, you know, she had her birth certificate from here, you know, like different. And I was like, Mom, why do I have one like that? 
she told me, she's like, this was yours. I don't know why I can't talk about this, like, God. Told me you were born in Mexico, I was like, what? Like, how? I thought I was, you know, since I've been here my whole life, I was like, how? I thought I was born here, you know? I talk English, like everybody from here, like, why? Yeah, I got my DACA, like, barely, like, what, two, two years ago. I didn't got it whenever it started because, you know, my parents, they didn't have the money, you know, to, you know, because you need to pay money for it, to, to get the process and everything. My parents did not have the money. You know, that, that protects me, not protects me good, because they could take it, you know, away anytime. That's what scares me because I'm like, what am I gonna do if they take it away? This migration has my name already. If they take it away, you know, they're gonna, they know everything about me. That's what scares me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get my license because, you know, so I can feel, you know, a little bit more safe, you know, like. If they stop me, just for, you know, I don't really get stop me every time, but, if, you know, just in case, you know, I have my license. Never. Suppose that you go to stores, people guys you could just pop up and, you know, ask you. I didn't know that. And whenever I, you know, I found out, I was scared. I was scared to go to the store. I was scared to go out because I was like, I don't they, they're there, they... You know, they, they take us. But you know, my parents, they had to go to the store, you know, so we could eat to buy food. But I didn't want to go out. I was like, I'm not going because I'm scared. I mean, that's not a way for a child to live, you know, being scared. Just for anything, you go, like, that could happen, that's like horrible, like for a kid to think about. But I just, they just don't understand. They will never understand because they, they have never felt what we felt. They never felt scared. Scared of going out anywhere. You never feel that. That's why they don't understand us. Only a person that went through what we are going through understands. Because, you know, they went through that too. But, if, you know, they're citizens, they don't understand because they've never been scared. I mean, it's called United States for a reason, right? United. We're supposed to be united, not separating. People, you know, from families, just because they're illegal. Thank God I haven't went through that, you know? Like, a separation because of that. Thank God. I don't even want to think about that. <coughs> How do things just end up like that? How the things just change all of a sudden. Now people, you know, they're gonna be scared to like call police like for anything because of this. Is that what they want? Like, do they want like people getting hurt and not even calling the police because they're scared because they could be deported? You know, whenever I was little, I. You know, whenever I thought of police, I was like, they're here to protect us, right? And every time I see, you know, an officer, I was like, they're here to protect us from bad people. 
funny because now with all this that's happened, it's just like, now we're scared of them. And I know a lot of people are, you know, really, they don't want to talk about this. I didn't want to talk about this, but I was like, you know, I'm scared to talk about it, but I'm just telling y'all what I feel. How this affects people, you know, mentally. This is, this is my channel, and I want people, you know, to feel comfortable, you know, and say what they feel. Not being scared. Because everybody has this, you know, the right to talk, you know, speech. You know, to talk what they feel. I know that people are like, you have, you know, you had that and you, you shouldn't even be scared. It's not like they could just take it away in a, you know, day, month. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit, you know, like, okay, I'm protected a little bit, but not like, who like a lot, right? You know, just because I have, you know, you know, permit doesn't mean I'm gonna feel, you know, higher than people that don't. I feel the same. I feel the same. I know how it feels to be, you know. Tell you, I don't really talk about this stuff on my channel, but I did want to talk about it. But you know, I was debating if I should or not. But it's just what I feel, you know. It's not like I'm talking bad about you know other people. It's just what I feel like. I feel like this should you know, stop happening, you know? Like, separating families just because they don't want paper, you know? Write down below what you are feeling or what you think about this. And like, we just want to work. We don't want to harm anybody. We just want to work like y'all. But people just don't understand it because they'll never will because they have never felt what we felt. It's not like you can choose where you can be born. Because if you can choose, everybody wanted to live, you know, good, not suffer about food or anything, you know. But it's just not like that. Everybody has to suffer in life. I don't know why, but it's just life that we were brung small, you know? It's like, it's like we feel like, you know, this is our country because we don't know nothing about, you know, Mexico or wherever y'all were born. But like, me personally, I don't know nothing about Mexico. Yeah, I know it's what we see, you know, on TV and stuff. But like, living there, like, it's just like going to, to a country. I don't even know what I'm going to do there. You know, I know my some of my family is there. But it's not going to be the same. You're not going to feel, you know, like, you're going to feel weird there. Because you're not used to, you know, that country. I just want to, you know, take that away and tell you go back to your country. It's just like, it's like, this is my country. I was basically born here. Everything in my mind started here, you know? Like, that's all I wanted to, you know, to say to y'all. <sighs> A very subject that's really sad. Well, I hope y'all understand me. Um, but yeah, that'll be all for this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.